Hello, hello from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania, not New Jersey. So today's a big day. I got my temporary Pennsylvania driver's license. I got plates. I got insurance. And wow, did I save a lot of money. Not by switching to Geico, but by switching to Pennsylvania. My uh, insurance rates went down more than half. And I got better coverage now. All because I live in Pennsylvania. Right on, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much. You're saving me a lot of money. And uh, it was fairly easy. So I'm going to switch up my plates and enjoy the benefits of living in this beautiful state of Pennsylvania. Thank you, PA. Thank you, Pa. That crazy dingo. Come on. Don't go that way. Go over this way. Hey. Come on. What are you doing, mister? You need to get hurt. Yo, crazy dingo. Come on. Come on. Feed him. Come on. You're lucky I haven't faith in your rock climbing abilities. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Easy peasy for my Eddie Murphy. You got some cactus growing here. Planted those last year. Nice little heart one. Plant some over there. It's growing. All right. So this is the first day. Um, I guess I'm here as a Pennsylvania resident, which is pretty exciting. There's the Airstream. I just got a text message from Brian uh, saying to come check out what he's doing. He's over there cutting the lawn. Uh, it's actually for, for the cows, to, to feed the cows. As you can see, my lawn is pretty high. This probably wouldn't be approved in the city. It's a little long for grass. But I like it, and Brian's gonna actually probably cut my grass too, so I don't really have to worry about it. And if it does grow really high, I don't mind. I like it. So Brian just, uh, did I just say this? Brian just texted me, he said that there are two baby fawns, probably a couple hours old over here in the field somewhere, so I'm gonna go check them out. And, uh, oh, look. His babies are over there too. See the baby cows? And the big cows, but they're all his babies, so. I'm gonna check out what's going on over there at my neighbor's yard. Guys, that thing for a, a lone mower, huh? See, it does a pretty good job. Those guys do a better job. I just gotta be careful because there's a Johnny cat that followed me. He didn't come out of the grass yet, but don't want Johnny Cat to get runted over. So look at the little baby deer. Hello, little baby. Hello. Oh, you're not supposed to touch me. No, no. Hey, where are you going? There are two in here. Can you see there's some afterbirth? 
Oh, and there's the other little baby. Little baby in there. Hello, little babies. How are you? You're such a cutie. Hi. Don't touch me. It's okay. Where'd your mama go? Your mama went to get some food? What? Oh, you guys are so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. A lot of grass to mow. But he's got a lot of mouths to feed, so. Oh, bless you. There's ladies over there. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got some big ears. You got some big ears. Yes, you do. What? Bless you. Bless you. Oh, I want you to come home with me. I think I could raise a baby deer. <clears throat> What's with your little brother? Is that one okay? Yeah, this guy is much more active. Where are you going? Where are you going, you? Oh, it's so hard not to touch them, because they're so cute and tiny, and cute and tiny. I don't think his name is Bambi. I'm just saying. What are you doing? What are you doing? Pokey. That's Pokey. Pokey for the Pokey Dots. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back home. Because I can't really play with you too much. Because then your mother will be mad. But there's life everywhere in these parts. There's a farmer on a tractor. There's some cows. And there's some baby deer. All part of my day here on the Dennis Allen Homestead. <laughs>